Hello, I'm Maria Bonita. Welcome to my channel and I'm your tapping practitioner for today. And today's tapping is on fear of flying. So I really encourage you to do this um, building up to a flight. If you're someone who's scared of flying, like do this like a month before, two weeks before, as much before as you can and on the day that you were flying. Um, and then once you are on the flight, if some nerves are coming up and you're getting a little bit stressed, what you can do is focus here on the side of the hand or you can focus on the chest area and just focus on sort of, this is a good one, sitting in the chair, just tapping on the chest area. So let's get into this. Um, rate your fear of flying on a scale of zero to 10 as it is right now and then rate it again at the end, okay? So let's get started. So I want you just to tap here on the side of the hand. I'm absolutely terrified of flying. I don't wanna do it. Uh, it doesn't feel safe. What if I get turbulence? What if something happens? What if the plane goes down? All of this anxiety, all of this fear, it's making my head spin. And it's really annoying because sometimes I need to fly and I wish I could just get on a plane and not really think about it, but I'm scared. I'm really scared, I'm absolutely terrified, and I don't know what to do about it. I feel stuck. Perhaps I've had some negative experiences in the past, and I wanna love, accept, and forgive myself for this fear. I recognize that for whatever reason it doesn't feel safe to me, and I understand that. Flying is not really natural. And it's pretty high in the sky. Perhaps I'm scared of heights as well. <laughs> so I'm just gonna accept this fear. I'm not gonna push it away. And I'm gonna see what I can learn from this today. I'm absolutely terrified of flying. All of this fear, I can feel it in my body. Perhaps it feels sort of like butterflies in the pit of your stomach, or it feels like losing control. Because the truth is, I don't like it. I don't wanna fly. I think about that feeling of takeoff, all of that shaking, that pressure, even the thought of getting anxiety. What if I have a panic attack? It's just making it so unpleasant. And I don't wanna feel this way. I just wanna jump on a plane go on holiday, relax. So I'm determined to explore this. I know that some part of me doesn't feel safe flying and I love, accept and forgive myself for feeling this way. It's totally normal because even if logically I know it's more dangerous getting in a car and going to a shopping centre or going out for dinner than it is to be involved in a plane crash or something serious involving a plane. It's still really high up. It's still not natural. <laughs> so I love accept and forgive myself for feeling this way. I know part of me is just trying to keep me safe. Just trying to keep me on the ground. Which even if technically or statistically is not any safer, at least my feet are touching the ground. And I feel safe. And I know there's a reason for this fear. It's trying to protect me. So I love, honour and forgive it. And 
and I choose to tune into it. I choose to remind myself that I am safe. Because the truth is, even if a plane moves around a lot, even if I don't like the takeoff and the landing, even if I'm scared of turbulence, I'm safe. The chance of anything happening is so small. And I don't sit at home all day scared to leave my house in case I get hit by a car. I want to live my life. And being alive means taking risks. Every second of the day. And so I'm willing to take a risk flying. Because it's not that dangerous. It's just a strange sensation in my body. It's an unusual sensation. So I know it's not going to feel good all the time. It's going to feel different. But that fear is just a vibration in my body. And I can handle it. Because I've flown before. And I've been totally fine. I know I can do it. There are scarier things in life to me. And a flight, I might even come to enjoy it one day. Feeling like a bird. And if I do get nervous, I can tap. I have a tool I can use. So I'm going to visualise myself for a second, just stepping on that plane, sitting in my chair and just notice what physical sensations come up for me as I visualise that. Notice where I tense up in my body and I'm just going to tap through that for a second. And I'm going to visualise the engines turning on and it's starting to speed along the runway and that pressure pushing me into my chair and I'm just going to take a deep breath and tap through it and I'm going to tell myself I'm safe I'm safe I'm safe I'm safe I can deal with this I can handle this I release this fear. I understand it's been trying to help me. But right now it's not serving me anymore. So I choose to let it go. And if it comes up, that's okay. I can hold the space for it. I don't need to live in fear of the fear. I can just live with the fear. I can take the flight. So I want you just to see yourself now getting on the plane, sitting on the chair, feeling that pressure of the takeoff, because it's normally the takeoff and the landing that, that most people struggle with. And if you're still feeling good, if that's bringing up too much anxiety for you right now as we're tapping, I want you just to stop and tap. But if you're still feeling good, I want you just to visualize now that feeling when the plane drops a bit and you get that turbulence, right? Just visualize that. You might want to shut your eyes for a second, although, it's better sometimes to keep your eyes open, but just get connect with that feeling, that dropping feeling in your stomach. And I want you just to tap through it for a second. Just notice where you feel that in your body. Notice if any sensations come up. Good. Okay. I've been dealing with this fear. I have been scared of flying. But I'm willing to confront it. I've been dealing with it. I'm tapping on it. And if I tune into my body now, I'm not as scared as I was before. 
So perhaps things can change for me. Perhaps one day I can be that person that gets on a plane and reads a book or watches a movie and enjoys their journey. Or perhaps I can be the person that feels a little bit scared and they go to the bathroom and they tap for a moment and they accept this anxiety, they accept this fear as something natural, as something that doesn't have to be feared. It's just a sign. It's just a signal my body is making and an opportunity to remind myself I'm safe. I'm safe. I'm safe. I'm safe. And so it is. Take a deep breath in. Let it go. <sighs> Fabulous. Repeat this video as much as you need to. Um, if you want some help with this, this is something that um, I tend to work with one-on-one -on -one with clients. I can, you know, you can book a session and we can create a personalized script for you so that you can fly without that fear and just enjoy your trip and enjoy your journey. Take so much care and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.